Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with scenarios. And once again, this video series is actually split into two sections. Section 1, which is going to deal completely with Cucumber and Section 2, which will deal with Cucumber and Selenium. Alright, so before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 and 4 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly nature earth. Please help to save that because we are running out of resources right now. Cucumber scenarios. So we have already created a scenario something like this but with some exception here and there but we, it's pretty much close to the, the one which you are seeing in the screenshot and in this video we are actually going to start creating our scenarios step definition implementation and see how things works. So for that I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So in our last video we created a feature file something like this. So let me increase the font. Alright and I'm going to implement this particular step definitions much like an executable. So right now what if I try to execute this particular feature file and see how things works. So I'm just going to right click. As a normal Java program, if you have already worked with Java, you can see that we will go to the main and we wrote a very, very simple hello world program, right? So for that, we just executed this main Java file by just clicking this and it executed, right? So how to execute the feature file? If you just click this, it will execute the main. But if you click this drop down, you will see nothing here. And the reason is because the feature file is not yet recognized. So you can go to the edit configuration and here there is something called as cucumber.java. So you can actually try to glue your step definitions along with the feature which we will be discussing a lot greater detail in our upcoming videos of this particular video series. But for now just be informed that there is an option something right here. So I'm just going to right click and there is something called run scenario login with correct username and password. So now the IntelliJ is pretty much intelligent enough to tell us that it is ready to execute this particular scenario. What if I run this and see what is going to happen? So I'm just going to run this. So currently it is executing the test for us and it is asking me to unblock the firewall of course. I'm going to allow the access and you can see that it is throwing us some error here and it says that undefined step given I navigate to the login page undefined step and I enter username and password as admin so all these steps are being undefined so there are one scenario executed and four steps for undefined and it took some zero millisecond which is so crazy and if I go to the login step you can see the reason is because we need to map or glue the features steps from this particular file to this particular step definitions file available in the login step.java. Right? So the gluing can be done by going to the edit configuration of this particular feature file, which is actually available over here. If you just click this drop down, you can see there is something called as edit configuration. If I go over here, you can see that there is a Cucumber Java and there is a scenario name, all those things. And we need to glue with the step file. Actually, we have to do some kind of work here. As you can see, the feature file is sitting in the source folder and the steps is sitting in the test folder under Java. So I'm just going to change this a little bit. So instead of putting inside the Java folder, I'm going to create a package. Let's call this as steps. I'm going to put this login step and I'm going to refactor that, right? So it has automatically added the package steps here. And then I'm also going to pull the feature from the source to the Java folder, which is under the test, right? So now within this test folder, we have the feature and the steps available right here instead of messing up something like this because we're not going to deal with the main class anymore right so this is the another change and the final change we're going to do is the edit configuration 
So you can see there is something called as glue and if you click this there will be a empty uh, text box in here. So what does this glue mean? Basically it says that I want to map all the steps available from the steps folder or the directory or the package and then I'm gonna hit OK right and now it has gelled or glued the steps of this login dot feature to the login steps dot java file right and what is happening actually since in specflow there will be a code behind file which actually maps the methods of a different class using the reflections concept of dotnet framework it actually works but in java there is no code behind file for this particular feature file it's kind of plain text file basically so it cannot map by itself and that's why we need to glue that right so that's why we have glued it right here and now if i try to run this particular scenario you can see that this time it has executed without any problem right so it has executed one scenario and four steps and it got and that's what is happening you need to glue the feature file along with the step file from this particular edit configuration but you can do this operation programmatically without doing that in this particular edit configuration by means of at run with attribute that we discussed in our slide so we will discuss about that as well when we start working with advanced concept of cucumber so now let's do one more thing before we finish off this particular video so i am going to just go to the implementation by going right here to the go to implementations or control alt b so control alt b and we end up right here and then i'm just going to type a very simple command like system.out.print and i'm going to see if the printing operation is going to happen or not so i'm going to say print ln of i sh should see user form page so I can just type something like this. So I'm just going to type all the method name or the step name right here. So print ln. Right. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to save it. And now if I try to run that particular feature once again, you can see that those steps will be executed and it will also be printed right here i navigate to the application navigate to the login page enter username and password click login button right so it printed everything and i should see the user form so this is how you can print whatever value that you have typed or passed in into those methods right maybe i missed something i'm also going to do one more thing so you can see that and I enter username as admin so I'm just going to try to pass this as a parameter here admin and the password as admin and I'm just going to create this particular step definition once again in the login step right you can see that this time I have got regular expression here and you can see it is automatically creating as some kind of parameters or arguments in here so it says username the first parameter is actually username and the second parameter is actually password i can save it and i'm just going to get rid of the first step uh the orphan step which is not required yet so i'm just going to remove it and now if i go to the login feature you can see that this color is kind of highlighted increase font size right so which means it is going to be act as a parameter so i am going to do is i'm just going to print out those values and see how things work so i'm just going to control alt b and here let's say if i want to print that value system dot out dot print ln of just gonna say username is username and 
some space and password is password right so I'm just gonna save it and now if I try to run this there's some error here I don't know what is that oops this is left a plus symbol over there all right and now if I try to execute this we should see the admin and admin password along with the particular message there we go now we get to the login page uh, login page username is admin and the password is admin password which is great so we can also get the value out from the feature into the steps step definition as a parameter in here right so this is one example of getting the value out from a feature file into our step definition so we'll also deal with grading the data from feature file into the step definitions in much greater detail in our upcoming videos of this video series so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day